Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be comparing Prisma 3D and Recon 4D, highlighting their features and functionalities. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button as we're aiming to reach 1000 subscribers this month. Let's dive into the comparison. In this video I'll be discussing several key features of both Prisma 3D and Recon 4D, including their user interface, modeling capabilities, material handling, coloring, texturing options, rigging functionalities, animation tools, and rendering capabilities. So without further ado, let's get started. Both Recon 4D and Prisma 3D are excellent UI designs. Prisma 3D's UI, although unchanged for years, remains functional and user-friendly. However, Recon 4D deserves extra credit for its outstanding UI design. The developer's attention to detail is evident, particularly in the seamless accessibility of tools and adjustments. With Recon 4D, making material changes or adjustments to models is easy. Simply click on the specific model or object and a panel for adjustments appears. Furthermore, users familiar with Blender or Maya would realize the similarities between Recon 4D's UI and Blender's, which I think is a great idea. So Recon 4D takes the lead in this aspect. Prisma 3D provides a simple yet effective modeling tool for creating basic models. Conversely, Recon 4D offers similar basic tools but what sets it apart is the ability to create smooth objects using its smooth tools unlike Prisma 3D where manual adjustments are required. Additionally, Recon 4D allows users to extrude vertices and detach faces, features lacking in Prisma 3D. Nevertheless, I give both apps a fair assessment in my evaluation. Prisma 3D and Recon 4D have excellent material and lighting systems. Prisma 3D's material system is automatic because it lacks proper UV mapping, resulting in textures not being correctly applied to objects. Similarly, Recon 4D faces a similar issue. However, both apps offer excellent coloring systems. When it comes to lighting, both apps perform well, but the beauty of lighting ultimately depends on the render, which I'll discuss later in this video. In Prisma 3D, rigging offers two options, FK Forward Kinematics and IK Inverse Kinematics. Additionally, you can rig without bones. The FK rigging has remained consistent since the release of Prisma 3D, while the IK rigging, although capable of human-like animation, may require some creativity to use effectively, falling short of user expectations. On the other hand, Recon 4D provides various rigging systems including FK, IK and weight paint rigging. Weight paint rigging involves applying weights to different parts of a mesh, determining each ball's influence on the mesh and is considered the superior rigging system. However, understanding Recon 4D's rigging system may require a detailed tutorial, as beginners might find it challenging to use. I'll include a video link in the description for further guidance. Prisma 3D and Recon 4D excel in animation, which is the primary function of both apps. Prisma 3D's animation has improved over the years, becoming user-friendly and easy to use. It offers the ability to animate characters or objects and render them in real time. Recon 4D also provides a great animation system with significant potential. Although animating in Recon 4D may still require some improvement compared to Prisma 3D, while both apps have room for improvement in animation, Prisma 3D currently takes the lead due to its ease of use. Recon 4D offers various rendering systems such as Gradient, Vishwan and Illusion, each with unique features. Rendering video animations might be slower in Recon 4D, especially when using Vishwan and Illusion, but the results are still impressive. Prisma 3D excels in video rendering specifically, however, mastering the art of lighting is crucial for achieving visually appealing renders in both apps. Overall, Recon 4D and Prisma 3D emerges as the winner in this aspect which is a draw for both. The fact that Prisma 3D offers one rendering system and Recon 4D offers various rendering systems makes it very sure that in the future, rendering in Recon 4D will be like rendering in 3D professional software like Blender. So we have come to the end of this video. Let me know which app you prefer to use in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.